it's takeover. Despite the troubles with some of the local banks, CBN Governor MFLA insists the country's banking industry is still on a very sound footing. I want to assure everybody that the strategic health of the banking industry is still good at this time. Uh, no doubt there are, uh, um, what I say, as a result of the global shocks, there are certain weakening of certain ratios, but those ratios have not weakened to a point where we can say that um, the banking industry is distressed. We would like to appeal to any, everybody, all depositors, to be calm. There is no need to leave in the impression that any bank is distressed. The CBN governor also said the Apex Bank will continue to conduct periodic stress tests on banks in the country to make sure they remain healthy at all times and that it will always act to protect depositors all the time. Dejibato, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria. Still in Africa's largest economy, the country has been very hard hit by a steep decline in oil revenue. In order to boost the economy and diversify away from crude revenues, the government is now focusing on streamlining operations at its ports. It's hoped that this will increase exports and productivity at the same time. Nigeria was Africa's top oil producer until a series of attacks on pipelines pushed crude production to 30-year lows. The value of its exports, mostly crude, plunged 52%. But the government is looking at streamlining operations. We ensure that you can pay from anywhere into any bank and you automatically come into our accounts. So we have this electronic payment. We also try to come, at, uh, come out with what we call PSEN, electronic uh, ship entry notes. So that at least when ships are coming in, we do it electronically. We inform people that, okay, you just go to the, uh, uh, any computer and send in your uh, notification so that at least we are aware of uh, how they are coming in. Port reforms over the past decade have made a significant difference. Our revenue has increased by more than 100%, much, much more than that. Our cargo throughput has also increased tremendously, more than 100% as well, much, much more than that. Our turnaround period for ships have also really, really increased. Our dual time for cargoes in the port has really uh, reduced as well. Nigeria's central bank is also hoping to improve export financing by increasing exporters' access to low interest credit. Jim Kiel, CCTV. The United Nations is urging corporates around the world to use their business chains to push for the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. The 17 in total are expected to set the world's development agenda moving forward. In fact, they build on the predecessors, the Millennium Development Goals. The UN says they hold an economic opportunity with an estimated investment of anywhere between 2 to $3 trillion every year. They also present an opportunity for business-led solutions in tech in order to address some of the world's biggest sustainable development challenges. The innovative ideas which are going to define how governments and enterprises can work together for sustainability, for creating an environment and material resources, for realizing the agenda of inclusive prosperity, is going to be increasingly driven by enterprise than by government. Why? One, there's a version of uh, revenue basis for many governments because of uh, shifting by some international corporations. The best way is not just what inter-government efforts are making to stem tax evasion. It is industry-based standards of acceptable sustainable conduct that is going to pay, play the greatest role in fighting illicit profit shifting and tax avoidance exercises. A bank in Somalia ha based in Mogadishu has kicked off a microfinance scheme. I hope that this will essentially reduce the staggering rates of unemployment in the country. Ucho Koronko has the details. The International Bank of Somalia, or the IBS, has been lending its citizens from $100 to $1,000 in order to help them start businesses such as clothes stores and groceries. The motive of uh, the microfinance scheme uh, is that uh, first uh, for ITS, uh, it is uh, one of our objectives uh, is, uh, is to build and to develop and to be part of the development of this economy. To achieve that objective, uh, we have come up with the microfinance so that we can support the small and medium enterprises and also to create economic environment for the country. 
The lender distributed about $600,000 in cash to some 700 recipients since it began the program in 2015. The loans are interest-free, with women representing 80% of the recipients. Um, so far we have been doing this for the past one year, and for the past one year we have seen that the many uh, uh, business